Hello and welcome back to Tea with Tracy. Come and see you live every Tuesday at 12, spilling relevant tips, trends, and talk in all things real estate and home ownership related. Today, we're going to be continuing on with our Making Busy Beautiful series. So coincidentally, this is part five of the series. And today we are going to be talking about the five parts of your creating your sanctuary space. So without further ado, let's get author, designer, and speaker on to join us, Holly Germati. Hi, Holly. Hey, Tracy. How are you? I'm fantastic. How are you? I'm good. Good. Thank you so much for I'm joining us it. again on this sunny Tuesday. So yeah. <laughs> it's a beautiful day outside and we are going to continue on talking about making busy beautiful. Um, and I was just, I was stumbling over my words a little bit, but I was saying in the intro that this is our fifth, this is the fifth in the series of 12 for the year. And um, we're going to be talking about five five ways or five things to create your sanctuary space, right? Yeah. 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 So five for five today. <laughs> Want to jump into it? So yeah, let's talk. Let's well, do let's do a little bit of a quick recap. So, you yeah. know, the first several weeks, um, you know, we were, we talked about a number of different things. Um, you want to just give us a brief summary of just what, you know, some of the, the, the pieces along the way, how we got to this. Yeah. Piece? Yeah. So, so for me, simple lifestyle, what I love to teach people is how to eliminate clutter of all types from your life. Right. Mm -hmm. So I focus on three main areas and that's clutter from your space clutter from your style and clutter from your schedule. And today, what I want to focus on is once you've removed the clutter, you can focus on kind of redesigning each aspect of those three areas of your life. So yes. today, specifically, I'm focused on space. And I yes. like to call it I've kind of just coined the term sanctuary space because I'm a firm believer that everyone needs to have what they consider their sanctuary space yes. in their home. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. And, yeah. you know, I feel like a lot of people, they just want to get to this part, right? They just want to like, okay, how do I make my space like what I want it to be? But if you mm -hmm. missed last month's episode, you're going to want to go back and watch it because we had some action steps, um, some things that we actually had to do. And even just the, the several weeks before were kind of the the psychology behind some of it, but then we had some action steps last month to prepare us for this month. So, right. Yeah. yeah. You have to do, you have to do a little dirty work before yeah. but this is, this is the fun part. And this yes. is the part that as a designer, of course, I love so much. It means a lot to me. So creating a sanctuary space, like I said, it could be any space in your home. Sometimes it's, it's, um, for me at one point in my life, it was literally my master closet. Yeah. I had my own <laughs> closet for a few years yeah. and that became my sanctuary space. And I created, and for me, it was, I had to have things. I had to have organization. I had to have a plant. I had to have something on the wall that made me happy. I had to have the right kind of full length mirror. And, and, uh, so anyway, so I just want to run through today, five elements, uh, that everyone can, like they're kind of questions that you can just ask yourself uh, to see, hey, is this space working for me or not? Right. So um, the okay. first thing is to focus on aesthetics. And okay. the first question is, does it look good? When, it, you know, when you're standing in the space, right. it, you know, whatever room you're in, when you walk in, does it look good? Is it and pleasing to, you. to the eye? Right. To you, right? It, it's got to be because yes. it's your sanctuary space and you know, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, right? So Absolutely. you can get opinions, but it has to look good to you. It's your space. Yes. So. I am not talking magazine quality right. images here. This is not even about, um, you know, this is when you walk in, does it feel good to you? Right. Yes. Yep. So that's question one. Okay. Question two is, does it reflect your personal style? Okay. There you go. That one's huge. Yes. That one is, you know, it, we all have little things that just, whether it's, it's something that you've collected where that like one little trinket means something to you, or if it's having a piece of artwork or something inspiring hanging on the wall, or if you're, you know, if you're a plant lover and you have a plant 
in the room that that you know it it has to reflect your personal spy style okay because it's going to make you feel that much better in the space okay all right uh, number three is functionality does the space work for you okay so while we're talking sanctuary space every room like for me right now at this point in my life i would say that my sanctuary space is also my bedroom it's okay. a, you know, so yep. I, so that's where I probably spend my quiet time and, and, you know, so it is multi, you know, it's kind of a multi-purpose area, but, uh, but you know, that's the room that I'm using right now. Right. And so it has to not, it has to work for the function of it, which for me right now, that room is, it's where I sleep. It's yep. where I you know, do my morning devotional. It is where mm -hmm. I put my makeup on. And once in a while, I'll yep. do a Zoom call. So I've got, <laughs> you know, so it's, it, okay. it has to function. Right, right. Well, I will say, and I know sometimes it's hard, like the, sometimes our rooms or like you were mentioning, the closet in our room is the only place, you know, when you have a house full of kids, the only place you could go have a yeah. private call. But I did have a, I, I did listen to a call with a sleep expert says you should not work in your bedroom. So just keep that right? in mind. So <laughs> I know, I know. But I'm, I happen to be but a rule breaker and I'm like, hey, you, can't, you can't have it all. Right, and, right. You know, if I do a Zoom call, so my... I slide over and you only see the artwork. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, okay. So functionality is yep. huge. Uh, and then four is, is it comfortable? I mean, okay. this sounds so basic. generic, basic. Yeah. However, I, and I've talked to, I've had the, privilege of interviewing designers from all over the country. Like a few years ago, I was writing blogs for a, a vendor and, uh, and it was great because I would always ask them, what's the most important thing that you make sure that your clients always have in a space. And 80% of the time they would say they have to have a chair or a, you know, if they're, if they're sitting in the space, it has to feel good. It has to be yeah. comfortable. So make sure that, um, you know, it's comfortable for you. And like, for me, I'll refer to my bedroom again. Yeah. I have the most comfortable mattress on the planet. Yeah. I mean, it was something that I invested in and it's mm -hmm. comfortable, but, uh, you know, if it's a living room, make sure that the sofa, you know, wherever you're spending your time, make sure you right. feel good. But along with comfort, it's not just about where you're planting your but it's, you know, is the space comfortable? Is right. the, is the lighting, is, is the lighting, um, too bright? If it's too bright, then that's not comfortable. Right. So look at things like lighting, temperature control, yeah. huge, uh, window treatments, huge is light filtering in and out. So, so there are lots of things on the comfort level yes. to think about. Yeah. And you know what the lighting, that's a, that's a really important piece to talk about. And right now, especially like so much is changing, right? Like now we have all the LED lights. And so it's not just, you used to have, you know, your traditional incandescent and they were a little bit softer and yellower. And now we have these bright white lights. And so if that's not what's going to work or feel comfortable in your space, you want to pay attention to that as you're making Absolutely. those changes. So yeah, lighting is, I love, yeah, I love working with lighting. Yeah. Uh, and then the last thing is, this is just kind of overall, when you look at this room, if it is your sanctuary space, then you should be spending a lot of time there. Are you, are you happy when you walk in and are you using it daily? Okay. All so right. that's just kind of the, those are the five things. Yes. Well, those are, those are great. That's great tips, great information. Um, really at it's, and I think that's something really key, pulling all of those things together. It has to be, it's your space. So like you said, it doesn't have to be what you see in a magazine, unless that's what like that's appealing to you, that will feel comfortable to you, that will yeah. be functional for you, but it's your space. And however, whatever works best for you, you get to create it to be um, that perfect spot. And that's why you're calling it a sanctuary, right? It's, it's our yeah. I mean, some happy people place the the like I would have to say like my mom her sanctuary space I would say it's not where she spends her devotional time I would call it her kitchen like yeah she spends a lot of time in her kitchen and her kitchen sink you know when she's standing at her kitchen sink that's probably like her happy place in her home and I can look at all these elements and say yep it all functions it all yeah. reflects her personal style there's something from my grandma that she has like 
like hanging on the window. There's, you know, it, it, it taps into all these things. Yeah. And I know that that's her happy place. So yeah. this can be any spot in your home, but it's, where's your happy place? Where's your sanctuary space? Yes. You know what? I, I'm trying to think like, as we're going through this conversation, I'm like, do I have one particular place in my home? And I don't know that I really have a favorite right now. I would say my home in general, um, is just my sanctuary space. I've, you know, like you, I'm a single mom. I've been a single mom for so many years and that's yeah. my house. Like that has nothing to do right. with my marriage or anything. Like that's always been my house, the kid's house. And so it just, it just feels fantastic knowing that it's our safe place. It's our home. Uh, we're in a great community. And, yes. um, so over time we're making that space be aesthetically pleasing and, <laughs> It, yeah, but, yeah, it can it yeah. can be you know it refers to any space big or small. Yeah, I don't care if your sanctuary space is one drawer. Yeah, if you have <laughs> if if that's if you have might one be drawer, hard to fit inside that space, but <laughs> you know, but you can yeah yeah you can make over any space yes. in your home and, and make it work a little better and feel a little better about it. Be a little happier. Um, yes, absolutely. So if you haven't thought about it or you're not sure if you have any place that is your sanctuary space, um, maybe give it a little bit of thought. Like I said, go back once you decide what that space is. If it's not exactly what you want it to be, go back and do the work part to prepare it and then come back to these steps and, and you get to have a little fun with it. So Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, well, thank you so much for joining us once again, Holly, and we'll have you on again next month to take us through the next step in making Busy Beautiful. And um, yeah, just, you know, I, I think we've talked about this before. It really is a mindset as well. There is these, There are these action steps and things that we can do, but it's really our perspective and the way that we look at things. Um, Absolutely. We can always look at things from a positive or a negative perspective and focusing on the positive always makes us happier and filled with joy so yep it's making the most of what you have every day yes so absolutely yeah so all right all well, right i look forward to it every month yeah so we look forward to having you on thank you so much okay thank you Thanks, all Tracy. for tuning in whether okay. live or on the replay we'll see you next tuesday on tea with tracy bye-bye <laughs>